well hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of 2022 happy new year i literally cannot believe that we are already in january 2022 it absolutely blows my mind and it has been a hot minute since we last sat down chatted had a good old conversation i had the loveliest christmas break i gave myself a full two weeks off which i really really struggle to do i'm so bad at giving myself time off and you guys actually really helped me out with my time off i know that i spoke back in december about when i was going to be coming back to youtube when i was going to be doing my first video maybe it might be between christmas and new year and so many of you commented like ellie no just see us in january give yourself a good break and i'm so so glad that i did because i never normally give myself like a proper time off and it was really funny because it did take me quite a few days to kind of like settle into not work mode like i literally just didn't know what to do with myself i was like i need to be doing something like where's my camera where where do i put myself what do i do um and it did take a little while to actually just like decompress but i'm so so glad that i did because i feel like i've come back in 2022 feeling really refreshed really excited for the new year and ready for all the content for you guys i hope you had a lovely christmas break as well i know it was a little bit of a difficult one this year a lot of people's plans got cancelled last minute which was really really tough so i hope however you spent your christmas you had a really really nice break some time off some well-deserved rest because i feel like 2021 was like a lot for a lot of us like it was a crazy crazy year in like good and bad ways i feel like it had its ups and it had its down i did a little bit of like a story roundup over on my instagram between christmas and a new year and it was actually crazy seeing like how much has happened in a year like as I said, big ups, big downs, but I'm so, so glad to be back. And as I said, just so glad to have given myself the time off because I'm not going to lie to you guys. By the end of December, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was really burnt out is the main way to say it. I was just, I feel like it was like I was getting to the end and I was not, not enjoying it, but it was just... I think it was one of those things where I didn't realise how much I needed a break until I actually took it. And as I said, back in the new year, really excited to be creating content. I have so much planned for January, like really, really exciting things. But I wanted to kickstart today's video with one of the most highly requested videos. It's a little bit of a controversial one and I feel like a lot of people don't always like these kinds of videos, but I did ask you guys if you wanted to see it and it was a resounding yes. And I've already had so many DMs and messages from you guys asking me what I got for Christmas, what presents I got for me to show you, what gifts I received. So I thought I would kickstart 2022 with what I got for Christmas. Now, I don't need to preface this video, but I'm gonna anyway and just say if you don't like these kind of videos, please be sure to click off. And when it comes to gifts, I love Christmas. I know a lot of people are like Christmas aren't about gifts, but I do agree they're not about the gifts in the sense of I never get as excited to receive gifts as I do to give them. But that is what I love about Christmas. It's about the thought that goes into the gifts. It's about the thoughtfulness. It's about the idea behind it, the present, the things that you've thought that that person will like. And so that's why I do love gift giving because I feel like I can really show people that I love them. It's actually definitely one of my love languages is gifts because I just love treating other people. Like I love buying things for my loved ones. So I didn't really ask for much. I do sometimes do like a little bit of a list of a few things that I would like just because I am aware that I'm a very difficult person to buy for. But my list was very, very short this year. So a bit of a kudos to my family and to Alex for getting me some really, really lovely gifts because... I'm not an easy person to buy for, but I thought we could jump straight into the video and I can show you what I got for Christmas 2021. Now, the most popular one is always what did Alex get me for Christmas? So I'm gonna kickstart with his lovely gifts. And Alex is such a good gift giver. I actually feel a little bit sorry for him because I feel like the pressure and the bar he set himself is like up here. And everyone knows him as a good gift giver. Myself, his family, my family, we're always really excited to get his gifts because he's really, really thoughtful with his gifts. So the first thing that he got me, you might be able to see that I'm actually already wearing it. I feel like some eagle-eyed viewers might be able to have spotted that. I'm wearing a new necklace, which I don't do all that often because the last necklace that he got me, I literally wear every single day. But this is a new 
gorgeous Swarovski necklace and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's going to be more of an evening necklace. I think I will stick to the diamond one that I wear pretty much every day because I feel like that's just a little bit more daytime. This is much more like evening wear, a little bit more elevated, a little bit more sophisticated, but I'm absolutely in love with it. I feel like Swarovski is a brand that I don't often like think to look myself but Alex had a look on it and he just said he saw this necklace and just thought it was the most me necklace. It's this gorgeous like rose gold coloured with like a gorgeous crystal inside and you've got the Swarovski crystals around the outside and it's just so stunning and I really like how dainty it is. I feel like these kinds of necklaces, often when I see them online, they're quite big, they're quite bulky, they're not the most me. This is so small and as much as it is still quite an elevated necklace, I'd say it's still fairly understated which is just my cup of tea so i fell in love with this i couldn't believe my eyes when i opened it under the tree i was so so grateful next i'm actually gonna have to take these off because i am wearing them but i got some new slippers because my old ones they had gotten to a point where the soles were literally black like it was not cute and i've always wanted a pair of ugg slippers you guys know i wear my ugg boots quite a lot and i really really love them i feel like ugg is just such a high-end brand and one of those brands that just never dates never goes out of style it's never not a classic and i love these so much so they're the really classic fluffy ugg slippers with the brown like camely colored um finish uh but i absolutely love them i think they are lamb inside and they are so soft and fluffy i literally have not taken these off for two weeks i actually took them down to my family's over christmas and i was wearing them non-stock because they're just so cozy and comfy i'm absolutely in love with them so this feel like such a treat i really love gifts that are like maybe a little bit more practical but the kind of thing that you really utilize and wear and these are definitely the kind of thing that i'm gonna wear every single day so if you've been looking at getting yourself a pair of uggs and maybe you're not sure if they're worth the hype not sure if they're worth the money 110% I can tell you that they are and I'm pretty sure I've seen some in sale at the moment so I'll link some down below everything from this video as well I would try and find and link down below for you guys obviously because I didn't buy it myself I don't know if I'll be able to find the exact same thing online but I will try and leave it linked down below in the description but I know for a fact that I've seen some Ugg slippers on sale so I'll link them down below for you guys I literally could not put those back on quick enough my feet were getting so cold in an instant as I took them off but the last thing that he got me which is absolutely gorgeous is this stunning pearl brooch I'm so so in love with it you guys know I'm really into my brooches at the moment I obviously have my YSL one which is kind of like my first brooch that really got me into brooches I then got my really gorgeous Christmas wreath and this is such a beautiful addition to my brooch collection it's so pretty it's got this like gold bow with these two little pearls in it and I feel like this is a really understated but elegant brooch I've actually already worn I wore it out when I saw some of my friends and so many of them were complimenting it being like oh my god that's so gorgeous I've never seen anything like it and it's so so pretty I really love brooches for just elevating an outfit and they don't always have to be the most designer high-end I mean the goal is to one day get a Chanel brooch but I feel like they don't always have to be they don't have to be the most expensive thing in the world like they can just be a little bit understated but still very chic and can elevate your outfit so I love adding this to jumpers scarves coats just to really like elevate your look and i'm so so in love with that i think it's just the cutest most thoughtful gift ever now moving on to my family pretty much the only thing that i put on my list was white company stuff because you guys know how much i adore white company bits like reed diffusers candles homeware sleepwear and i'm so so excited to have gotten a new diffuser this is the pomegranate one which i think is a really really nice scent for winter when you're not wanting to use a full-on winter fragrance like i love white company winter fragrance it is stunning but i feel like the second christmas is over i don't know if anyone else feels like this the smells the scents are so magical the lights they're so magical the christmas decorations are so magical the second christmas is over to me it's just tap i'm like just get it down don't want to see that christmas tree up anymore i actually took my christmas tree down the second that i could and after christmas when i smell that like cinnamony wintry fragrance i'm like not a vibe but i'm not loving it so i love the pomegranate scent because i feel like it's a really nice one it's fairly fresh but still a little bit cozy a little bit wintry so i've got full size of that which i literally have been waiting to put it up in the flat i wanted to wait and show you it to you guys before i put it up i'm so so excited about it oh my god these are so heavy and the other thing that i also got from white company is the pomegranate candle this is the huge four-wick candle which i just love i feel like the white company 
I've really mastered candles because I feel like they're so high quality. They're really, really gorgeous. They're not too potent. Like I've definitely burnt candles in the past that have been a bit too much, especially because it's quite a fairly small flat. We don't have the biggest, like higher ceilings. We don't have the biggest living room. It can get a little bit overwhelming with some of the scents I've tried. White Company is just perfect because it never gets too overwhelming. It never gets too much. And these four wick candles last forever. They are so, so amazing. So I'm really excited to have gotten the matching candle. I cannot wait to start burning this, getting cozy in the evenings and enjoying my new decompressed, de-Christmasified, decluttered flat. That is just my favorite thing about January. I'm gonna carry on with the White Company hype because there was a lot of White Company goods for Christmas, which I was definitely not mad about. Um, but it's this really cute little set that my mum picked up and it's the Scent Seashells, which I really, really like. And it's basically like a little body wash and body lotion gift set, which I just thought was so, so cute. Comes in this gorgeous little bag. I really love these actually because I feel like they're so handy for when you're going abroad or when you're wanting to like chuck things in your handbag that you're still wanting to see it. I can't tell you the amount of times I've thought I've lost things because I've put them in makeup bags and then six months later I'll go into a handbag and be like oh my god that's where I put it in that particular makeup bag because I couldn't see it I didn't know it was there so I'm actually really excited about the makeup bag as well but I just thought this was so so cute I am definitely going to be saving this for when I like go away for the weekend or if I'm like you know visiting friends or family or if you've just got like a little weekend trip or an overnight trip I feel like this is so so nice just to give yourself a little bit of a pamper something like really nice I just love love being able to give myself a good pamper and these white company sets are perfect for that and then also from the white company my favorites they're cashmere socks nothing to me it says a nice cozy day at home then a pair of gorgeous cashmere socks i absolutely love them i feel like the white company cashmere socks are just on another level like they are so so cozy really nice and warm and i've had my elk slippers there is no cold coming towards my feet. I get really cold feet really, really easily. So I love things that are gonna keep me really nice and snugly warm. I feel like you know how much like the people around you know you when you get those kinds of things, but I just love these. So I got the really gorgeous like beigey color and then the creamy whitey color, which are just so, so gorgeous. And then I also got from my mum to kind of like go with the socks is, which is something that I can't believe I don't own. It is a cashmere brush. So this is basically a little comb that you use on all your cashmere products. I think it also works on wool. So I'm gonna be using it on like my wool fedoras and some of my more like wool cashmere products, basically to maintain them, is to stop them from bobbling, to stop them from ruining. And I think that's so clever because I do find, especially with my cashmere socks, where obviously you walk on them, they bobble a lot underneath. them. as soon as you start to get bubbles, they're not cozy, they're not comfy. You can feel it at the bottom of your feet. So I thought that was so, so cute. I didn't know that the white company did that. So I'm gonna keep that in a very safe place so that I can remember to to maintain and look after my cashmere a lot more because there's no point in spending a lot of money on a really high quality material if you're not going to look after it properly. So I'm excited to finally be able to actually look after my cashmere. Next from my brother and his girlfriend I got a couple of bits from Neom which I just adore Neom. You can definitely tell my priorities here. It's coziness, it's at home, it's cute cozy vibes and Neom scents are just my favourites. So this is actually the perfect night sleep pillow mist here. So this is obviously the scent to sleep which is such a gorgeous like lavender, really calming. I think it's lavender chamomile and patchouli which is so so calming and i always use a pillow mist every single night i find it like really therapeutic and a really great way to kind of unwind it's a bit of like a pavlovian thing in the sense of like i spray the pillow mist and so i get sleepy but because i get sleepy every time i spray the pillow mist as soon as i start to smell that smell i get sleepy does that make sense it's kind of like a bit of a cycle so i definitely would really recommend a pillow mist if you don't have one already and i think the scent to sleep from Neom is such a gorgeous one and then i also got the scent to sleep candle which i am such a huge fan of this scent and this is like my bath time scent i absolutely love it if i'm doing myself like a really nice and relaxing bath i'll light this in the bath i'll spray this on my pillow and i am ready for the ultimate cozy night in <laughs> and then also from my brother's girlfriend which is such a thoughtful gift is a little H&M half head vase. Now, you can't see it, but I'm sure you guys will know of my half head vase that I have had for so, so long. I absolutely adore it. Basically, it's a mini version of it that comes with a candle. 
I'm so in love. You guys know how much I love my bustiers. I love my busts. I love my heads and my vases, my kind of like body parts. I just really love them. It's a bit of a weird thing that I have, but you'll notice all around my flat, I have lots of like heads and busts and bustiers and vases that look like faces. I just adore it. And my booby bars, I do love my booby bars. And my booty bars, oh my god, I have so, so many. And I just thought this was such a gorgeous little gift. It's so thoughtful because she knows how much I love my head bars. And I love the fact that it comes in a candle. I don't think I'm ever going to burn it because it's just too pretty. I feel like I would get so upset having burnt this. But what a cute little addition. You guys know how much I love H&M Home. I love it. And then speaking of face vases another gift from my mum which I think is just the cutest little thing is this little tea light holder and if you look closely it's got faces all around it which I just absolutely love I thought this was the cutest little thing it's got like a gold kind of covering inside which I love you could use this for candles you could use this as a little trinket tray these are really handy for like jewelry and stuff if you're someone that maybe where you just like sit beside where you watch tv you can keep it there to like take your jewelry off to put little wraps in I just think it's so so cute very very me I'm honestly so in love with this little trinket. As I said, I feel like you know that the people around you know you really, really well when they get you like such you gifts. And that is what I love about gift giving at Christmas is just showing people how much you know them, how much you love them and getting them the cutest little gifts that they are gonna adore. <laughs> And then from Alex's side of the family, I got some really lovely, thoughtful gifts. So first of all, one of the things that I did say, so his mum is a skincare queen, like adores her skincare and always knows the best products. So I did say that I wanted some new skincare bits because I feel like I haven't been looking my, after my skin as well as I possibly could. And I just want to kind of like update my skincare routine. So we definitely will have a video coming soon because she spoiled me rotten and got me the Caroline Hyron's Skin Rocks Kit, which is just insane. So first of all, it comes in this huge bag, which I really like this. I feel like this is a really great makeup bag. It's very like squishy. I feel like this makes a great skincare bag. So in here, we've got loads of products. So I'm gonna go through a few of them. So first of all, we've got the Murad Caroline Hyron's Hydration Ultimate Moisturizer, which sounds absolutely amazing. Basically, all these products are like Caroline Hyron's approved. So I feel like they're all gonna be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try this. I've had such good things. This is the Emma Hardy Morning Cleansing Balm, which I'm really, really excited about. You guys know how much I love my Clinique Cleansing Balm. Sometimes it's nice just to branch out, try a few different things. And because I've heard about this so much, it's been on my list for a really, really long time so I'm excited to give that a try when it comes to cleansers I feel like the most important thing is not stripping your skin keeping it moisturized while still taking off your makeup we also have in here the summer fridays cc serum i do love summer fridays they are a really really great brand it's a brand that i have used and loved for a really long time so super excited to try that we also have the medicaid caroline hyron's crystal retinol 3 which sounds really really good it's basically just like a really nice retinol which i'm excited to try i don't think i've tried medicaid it's kind of a cool name it's like m-e-d-i-k-8 medicaid i think that's a really really cool brand and then we also have the AHC Essential Real Eye Cream for Face. Now, I'm excited to give this tr a try because, as you guys know, I use my Clinique is it 72 hour eye serum. It's the only eye cream I ever use. And I really do adore it, but sometimes it's nice to give something just a little bit more moisturizing. So, really excited to try this, especially because it's Caroline Hyron's approved. I feel like I don't ever try products unless I know that Caroline Hyron's has approved them. We also have the Body Shop Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Now, I'm a little bit of a lazy girl when it comes to taking off my eye makeup. I just take it off with the rest of my makeup. So, Maybe it will help my eyes out a little bit more to use like a specific eye makeup remover. It also comes with a little flannel in here. Love adding flannels to my collection. And then lastly, we have the Ren Omega 3 Optimum Skin Oil. I've never used Omega 3 oil. So it says it's for dry and dehydrated skin, which sounds amazing because I'm not gonna lie, my skin is so dry at the moment. My skin has not enjoyed all of the food i've been eating as much as i have enjoyed all the food i've been eating over christmas my skin has not enjoyed it so i'm really excited to be giving all these products a try giving them a test run it, letting you know what i think i think that's just such a lovely gift and a really in-depth skincare routine for me to try so 
absolutely adore that. I will link to the Skin Rocks kit down below if you guys are looking for a bit of a skincare refresh as well. And then from Alex's brother and sister-in-law, they got me the loveliest little journal. You guys know how much I love my journals. When it comes to like daily planning and like work stuff, I always use my Carico one. But I'm really excited for this one because this is a bit more of like a personal one. And I definitely think that's great for the new year. I'm thinking of doing like a little bit more of a video about like how I plan my week, how I kind of plan my day, manifestation goals. Let me know if that's something you want to see because I do get a lot of questions about that. But this is basically a journal that kind of goes into like really in depth so we've got quote of the day today's plan and then on this side is much more like personal so we've got breakfast lunch dinner snacks which is a big one that i want to kind of like just improve the food that i'm eating make sure that i am putting the best things into my body we've got a shopping list we've got expenses which again is something that i definitely think i can work on in the new year daily exercise water self-care and personal notes so i think that's a really nice one because it's basically I'm going to call this my accountability journal. It's a great way to hold myself accountable. It's a great way to kind of like tackle the things that I want to tackle, my news resolutions and my goals. So let me know if you want to see like a full video on that. I can definitely do it. I can show you guys how I create my like vision boards, manifestation boards, because as I said, I always get questions from you guys. So I thought that was such a lovely and thoughtful gift, a very, very me item. And then of course we always get a to me from me gift. Now I actually was really restrained this year and if you've been following along with it Vlogmas you would have already seen this beauty but it is my new Loewe basket bag and because I picked this up at Vista I had planned on a couple of other maybe like to me from me potential gifts but this was kind of like a bit of an unplanned purchase which I don't normally allow myself to do especially when it comes to designer items but because I've been eyeing this bag up for so long, I know that it's something I'm gonna use loads and it's gonna really, really do me well throughout the spring, summer. This was something I picked up at Vista and I decided this was gonna be my to me, love me present. So it's been in the wardrobe, I haven't even taken the label off because I, I'm not gonna lie, I wrapped it up and unwrapped it myself again on Christmas morning because I think it's really, really important to celebrate your own wins, treat yourself like the queen that you are, be your own sugar mama and be able to treat yourself to some little gifts. So if that means buying yourself and being really restrained, not letting yourself use it straight away, but wrapping it up and putting it under the tree so that you can open it and you even put a little label to me, love me, you guys know I find that so, so important. So if you've never done that before, I definitely consider it for either your birthday or your next Christmas, just to really treat yourself, show yourself how much you love yourself and spoil yourself like you deserve. <laughs> So that was everything that I got for Christmas this year. I honestly felt so, so spoiled this year, as I do pretty much every single year. But I feel like this year has been a particularly tough one for a lot of us. And being able to treat your loved ones, see them, spoil them with things that you know they're going to love is such an important thing. So I really hope you guys had the loveliest Christmas as well. I hope you got some really nice things under your tree let me know what your favorite christmas present was down below in the comments and if you've got something that you really weren't expecting if you got exactly what you asked for let me know down below in the comments i always love knowing what you guys get for christmas i always find it really helpful as well because i'll often make a note of things because sometimes when people ask you outright what do you want for christmas your mind just goes blank so i always feel like these kinds of videos are a great way to maybe like make a list for yourself if your birthday's coming up or for christmas next year so i love getting ideas so let me know what you got down below in the comments so I really hope you guys are excited for all the content that is to come this January. Videos will be every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.